Hello and thank you for tuning into this Angerati Studio interview at Asian Utility Week 2016. I am Denise and with me I have Dr. Sukanta Kumarjena and he's from Scient um, and you're, you're the head for China, Hong Kong and Southeast Asia. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, so we were busy discussing um, AMI, smart grid development throughout the region. Um, let's delve into it a little bit more. Um, what do you think, um, or how do you view the progress of AMI and smart grid development in this region? Yeah, uh, if you see uh, most of the smart grid project, what uh, we spoke about, you know, five to six years, uh, you know, uh, down the line, yeah. uh, we have always spoke about, you know, communication, infrastructure, you know, uh, making the grid smart and all. So we we never, uh, you know. Uh, talk talk about IOT, GOT kind of you know stuff uh, terminology in last five years. Yeah. So, but last one year, what we have seen is you know everybody is talking about IOT. You know, making all the uh, each of the device in the network you know intelligent, like as good as you know they talk to each other as if they are human being, and you know auto rectify uh, the situation, fault rectification, yeah. predictive maintenance, and all those things. So quite interesting and uh, uh, you know people have been putting a lot of focus on new technology which is uh, yeah. good yeah. yeah fantastic um how do you view or what do you think is going to be the development over the next five to ten years we had quite a big discussion about this before we came in but yeah. I mean, how, how do you view um, the development now yes yes so so like like uh, i told that you know a lot of uh, systems a lot of communication device and a lot of uh, Data is getting generated at every point in the grid. So, so in next five to ten years, trillions of data is going to come. And who is going to manage the data? You know, you, uh, what are the solutions around that? So, most of the companies like Google, Scient, and uh, so and so, all will focus around that. And and to, to let you know that you know all these companies are doing a lot of acquisitions yeah. uh, and disinvestment and uh, and you know new new technology around that. So, how to manage this data? So how to bring this data into right yeah. form of uh, format to right de device to your phone yeah. so that you know the uh, top management people can have uh, right information out of it. Right, right. And um, also, uh, I know the region is very large, um, but what are the common challenges um, do utilities face when it comes to um, AMI and smart grid deployment? What it, Yes, uh, like uh, the region is large and uh, there are a lot of small, small countries. Uh, yeah. If you see Tenaga National uh, uh, Malaysian Electric Company, so they are, uh, you know, ahead of the remaining rest of the countries. So uh, now Vietnam, EVN, uh, PA, MEA and all these uh, electric company, Meralco in Philippines, Sepalco, Aboitis. So they are also, you know, gearing up and, uh, you know, taking up uh, this project. And while gearing up, there are a lot of challenges like a lot of local rules and regulation, how they procure these new systems. So, so there are a lot of, uh, you know, activity is ha happening around that, a lot of regulatory, uh, you know, ministerial, uh, political uh, situation is happening, a lot of discussion happening and uh, uh, so and so. so. So that is what is happening at this point of time and there are a lot of new projects coming up, uh, uh, USTDA, uh, World Bank, ASEAN Development Bank, is also putting a lot of interest around this right. and yeah. Okay, all right. Emerging markets, what is the most exciting area or areas for, for your company right now? Yeah, like I said again, I will yeah. uh, repeat again the yeah. analytics. You yes. know, so much data is there, then what will happen? And the right kind of analytics has to happen. So now at this point of time, uh, Scient, uh, if I talk about Scient, we focus on large project, we focus on end to end project. If it is a AMI, then we we come forward, we take the entire project, we buy meter, we buy the MDMS, we buy the head end system, we put uh, the entire communication infrastructure and uh, the systems. So all those projects which is going to come is kind of you know turnkey project. You cannot just play around smaller areas, small, smaller silos. So if you want to play, then you will have to come to a company like us who will take the entire ownership of the large project and implement for uh, utility or electricity companies like Tenaga National or PA, MEA and uh, EVN. So that is, that is where uh, we are going to play large role uh, uh, you know, in, in the next uh, few years. And that is going to be called Scient Insight? No, that is Scient and Scient Insight is one of our subsidiary which is 
very much focused on analytics. So this is an acquisition, and uh, because because I, I like I told that most of the companies are focusing on analytics. Yes. So that is why Sand is also you know one step ahead of all these companies yeah. at this point of time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell us about the company's um, exciting projects, any exciting projects or strategies um, um, up, up the sleeve. Yeah, like, like I said, you know, we are doing a lot of uh, large projects in uh, Singapore Power, yeah. Tenaga National and uh, other electric company like Meralco and so and so. And uh, so, so like our focus uh, will be very much on uh, like wherever we are strong, we are strong and we are putting a lot of, uh, you know, focus and interest with those customers. And uh, there are some like uh, new, new market like Vietnam, uh, uh, Thailand and uh, Philippines where actually a lot of these new projects coming up and we are we are geared up already you know to to play a larger role in those markets so so these are uh, the next focus at this point of time fantastic um, just to round things up um, what would be your bit of advice uh, for the energy sector for utility specifically yeah this is uh, this is a very important question at this point of time because in last one year like last year i remember i, I used to advise that you know all these uh, uh, all these uh, political groups or all these uh, CEOs has to come forward, you know, they, they, they have to uh, go out of the traditional business, they will have to talk to all the technology partners, they will have to deal direct and, you know, implement these large projects. So in last one year and fortunately, you know, all these government uh, e utilities, electricity companies have done that and that is fantastic. So now, uh, there are a lot of options, there are, there are a lot of technology, there are a lot of solutions. So now it, it creates a confusion that which technology to buy, which technology to implement. And if you do not choose the right one, then you are locked up with that technology for a longer term, which is going to cost. And it is all people's money, you know. So you need to be very carefully choose what are the solutions we need to, you know, uh, implement for a next 10 years, next 5 years, next 20 years uh, time frame. Well, we're going to end right there. Thank, thank, thank you, you for, so much. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for the invitation. Thank, thank, you. thank you. And uh, thank you for joining us uh, on this session. And should you wish to gain more insight into Asian Utility Week, please have a look at our playlist on ngrt.com. Thank you.